Hey, 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 you guys. Look, that dango, that box y'all see back there, that pink box, that's my nail drill. Chow, I don't know when the next time I'm gonna do my nails. I really don't. Uh, it's a lot of work. <laughs> I know Tina and Tom are open, but I'm not going over to see them. I am not. Plus, they're old school Vietnamese people, and every time they see me, you know, they're always saying, no time, no see, and they be trying to hug me and stuff. I'm like, mm-mm, y'all can't be doing that. I'm putting on lipstick, I don't know why. Y'all ain't nobody. Y'all, I got another face product. I didn't need it, but I got another face cleanser. Let me see if I can find it. So, this is called Nizarol. Nizarol. So this is a anti-dandruff shampoo. Controls flaking, scaling, and itching. It has this word, Keto Sono Vivian. Keto Conazoli. Girl, whatever. It has this word right here. Let me see if this will zoom in. That word right there. I'm assuming that's the word that really helps with face acne. So I've been looking at, um, a lot more videos and we're gonna get to the order that we're supposed to be talking about i've been looking at a lot more skincare videos and that product is recommended for people who suffer from face facial fungus i don't have <laughs> hear me out i don't have facial fungus but every now and then i do feel like i have a texturized stuff going. yeah i can see it like you can see it it's there like i don't have you know issues i mean i do but not like that i really do have to get it together JB's gonna try to interrupt me. Oh, girl. <laughs> we are going to be moisturizing my hair. I washed my hair today. Now, I was supposed to have been doing a protein sensitive free wash day for y'all, but y'all, I seriously, I honestly do not understand or uh, I don't see how Jeanette Beauty does those videos. Jeanette Beauty is another YouTuber. A lot of her videos, I would say like every month she shares a wash day. It is a lot filming in the shower. You have to ensure, if you wanna make sure that you, you know, don't get water everywhere, I cover my toilet, I cover the floors in front of me because you have to film with your shower open, okay? I put towels everywhere. Then, um, if you're like me, I need to do several videos in one taping. I'm not gonna get lukewarm titties for one video. No, we're gonna do about, we're gonna film at least two in the shower, so that's a long time. Sorry, you guys, I'm now storing my, um, not my, I'm storing JB's raggedy ass Legos back here because I'm tired of seeing all those Legos in the, liver, in the living room. So if he needs a part, like he's fixing a dang on car, I need a part, What? whatever. So anyway, what was I, what was I talking about? Filming in the shower, it takes a lot of work. I don't see how, you know, other YouTubers do it often. People don't be revealing their secrets. Um, and my, uh, the way my, my system works, it will stop filming after 20 minutes. So that I have to stop what I'm doing, lean all the way over, turn it back on. See, girl, it's a lot. It is a lot. So, uh, y'all know how we do. Let's get this Erica Badu piece off. Girl. So the only thing I was able to film today was a VO5 review. Yeah, we'll be posting that. I got two containers of that, y'all. You know how much two containers covered? You'll see once I release Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> oh, my hair smells good and it feels good. Two bottles did this much. I don't know what made me thought I could get away with two bottles. Let me find my rat tail cone, y'all. Hold on. All right. That's as good as it's going to get, okay? Let me try to get some of this hair out the way. Girl, you know better than that. Y'all, I have so much gray hair coming in. It's a dang on shame. I mean, I don't, even, I don't even think my mama started getting gray hair until her late 40s. But, girl, what the hell? I know stress can trigger it. But, um... Yeah. So, all right, you guys, you know how we do. We talk about what's in these YouTube streets, what I've been watching on YouTube, uh, talk about what's going on in home life, and then talk about what I'm watching. I'm not watching a lot. I know I need to get, the, get it together, but I've been busy. So, let's start off with home life, okay? Because I just want to get the serious stuff out of the way. It's not really serious. So, um, 
Last week, one of the things I did was come up with a mission statement for our homeschool. The name of our homeschool is Brown Boy Excellence. And girl, my, my mission statement was, was something so simple, like one sentence, something like to inspire, what did I say? To educate, inspire, and bring truth to young boys of color. Yeah, girl, something like that. Some, some BS like that. But, you know, in addition to that, I added a scripture um, and I wrote that down. I have like a three page planning thing I've been using. Um, so yeah, y'all, it's going coming along. I officially signed up for a time for learning. Now, what the hell? I officially registered for a time, and time for learning, excuse me. And I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm still, I'm a bit nervous, you guys, but we're, we're going to make it work. Okay. I'm going to just take one day at a time. Um, as far as the schedule goal, what I plan on doing is daily, we're going to be doing reading, um, math and language arts. And then every other day we'll be doing social studies, science, um, art, music, Bible will be a part of that. So what is that? Social science. What did I say? Science, social studies, art, music would be one. Um, Bible, uh, scriptures and stuff like that will probably be every other day. And then, um, an elective for us will be, uh, history of technology. <laughs> That'll be really fun for JB. History of technology. And yeah, well, art and music will be an elective too, but we will, we will have a special elective for history, technology, um, a time for learning does have social studies and within social studies is history. I think I I will do some of what they offer, but not a lot because I want to focus on um, African history first and then we can talk about US history. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. I need to go ahead over the weekend. I will be creating um, uh academic goals for us for as far as history goes but a time for learning has everything so every week i plan on printing out their lesson plans and everything he has to do online you know and then um reviewing some of the uh resources we have here or resources i have here as far as workbooks go because we do have stuff here and this is the thing not at least from what I understand, you will more than likely have to use several different types. Uh, you can purchase an all-inclusive curriculum, but I think for us, it's, it, it will be easier this way. And we may switch it up later on. I, I'm open to that. I know I know I will have to be open to to change eventually. So again, um, printing out lesson plans from a time time from learning and reviewing what's there getting everything together out my plan is to do it the month prior um so for example we're in july school starts at the end of august i'm gonna have all of august and try to cross my fingers and do august and september but things may change okay so I have all of august every week already together going through with our other workbooks we have at home writing everything down and then boom have everything printed out and um yeah that's what we plan on doing i'm, I'm super excited i don't know i don't know if i will share any of of that you know once i have everything up because it's so new for me and i just don't think that i'm the person that you know people should be looking at for advice on homeschooling because I'm just not starting. There are so many other uh, busy bees. She's one of them. Um, There's so many different types. I can't think of the names right now. There are so many different black homeschool families on YouTube that you can search, look up. And these are people who've been doing it for like 10, 15 years. You know what I mean? So yeah. Are you guys applying while leaving? I'm using Lotta Body. Okay. So yeah, y'all, that going on. Oh. I'm not naming any names, but I was on Facebook and I saw a couple of my friends and family members who decided to gather for 4th of July. You know, people are adults, you know, do what you want, but that's just still risking. And I'm talking about in areas, honestly, I feel like if it was in an area where the cases are relatively low, but these are people in Phoenix and Texas. Oh, Texas, y'all need to sit your asses down. Yeah, a couple of my friends in East Texas were sharing what they were doing over the, um, holiday 4th of July I'm like why are y'all oh, girl 
Well, so like I said, you know, people are adults. At the end of the day, they can do what they want. And honestly, I don't see any problem with, like one of my friends um, or someone I know, her son had a birthday two, about two weeks ago. And she invited like two friends over and they were practicing social distancing. They were all wearing masks. I don't see a problem with that. Honestly, I don't. If you're able to, no one has any underlying issues and you know, you're able to practice social distancing and they're okay well you know with whatever and it's a few kids okay but <laughs> a lot of kids everybody and climbing on top of each other no i had a mom to invite me today over her house at the pool and i told her you know i i can't do it because of i have some underlying issues and um she totally understands because she has a child who is not that well well he's well now but he um his immune system is suppressed so i'm like well girl well you don't need me over there anyway no she's sweet i love this woman she's she's a sweet woman so anyway y'all nothing else is going on at home it's re been really busy oh um I kind of spoke about this in my blog. My blog is going to come after this, but my company has decided to have a summer schedule. It will be 980. That means in nine days you work 80 hours. I already do that. And the benefit of this is that I have every second Friday off. I'm here. I'm here for it. So I already spoke to a couple of my team members to see if they would be able to cover for me. Um, that would be very beneficial for me, especially starting homeschooling next month. And this will go through the end of September, actually. So I'm hoping to get on this alternative work schedule. Could you imagine, girl? Excuse me. Being able to have every other Friday off? Yeah. Now, yeah, I'll, I already work. Honestly, I already work nine, between 9 to 10 hours a day. So, And if something comes in that they need me for, I'm not going to say, great, it's my off day. No. We... My team and I are pretty good about communicating, so I would definitely be able to provide assistance when they're not able to. So that I'm not too concerned about. All right, y'all, what's in these YouTube? You know what? If I see another show, what is his name? I don't watch these people. I guess Tati Westbrook, Sean Dawson. Um, what is that Voldemort looking guy? Um, <laughs> Jeffrey Star. <laughs> Jeffrey Paleface star. I don't know what happened because I really don't follow those people. I was trying to look at some of uh, uh, sitting on the floor crying all day. Trisha Paytas video. I couldn't get past. I could. I can't do her at all. Certain videos I will watch, but like once a year. But no, I I can't do it. So I'm not sure what happened, but I see a lot of people reacting. Um, I know Lovely Ti had a video. I guess. Sean Dawson had say some said some very problematic stuff. Um, there's talks of underage sex with I don't I'm not gonna say any names because I'm not sure who. Um, there's been talks of underage sex with some people. Um, I always knew not about the underage sex, but I always knew that Jeffrey Star was problematic, and he's made some comments. And Sean Dawson, from uh, from my understanding, made some comments in regards to black people, and they always say the same stuff. Um, you know, I've done some things in my past that I'm not happy about, and I understand now I've grown and I'm a better person. And I know that some of the things I did in the past were offensive to to certain people. Why do you? Why what? And I get it. Some people do change. They really do. Well, apology video after apo girl, please stop. Stop it. And y'all, I'm not gonna really go down this rabbit hole, but YouTube is racist. We we know this. We know this. They definitely and lovely T I spoke about this in her video. There is definitely favoritism shown towards the other YouTubers who were not black. Basically the white YouTubers. Um, I guess when Tati did a video, YouTube actually contacted her and asked her to take it down. Whereas in the black community, they can go dragging each other left and right and they won't say anything. YouTube won't do a dang on thing. They won't do nothing about it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. That's all I'm gonna say about that. So yeah, I've been watching all types of videos. Um, there is this psychiatrist, I believe he's a psychiatrist. His name is Dr. Grande. 
and he does these analysis on people um everyone from celebrities to serial killers murders to he did one on trisha paytas he called her pa paytas um he did one on tati he's very very intelligent honey when i tell you he does a calm roast of these people it has me cackling his name is dr grande i think his first name is steven i'm not sure um yeah he's hilarious who else have who i've been watching girl did y'all see who posted the video who is sugar is that who did it hold on she's busy my, minding my business and when the video came up my password's not working let me see and make sure when the video came up i was like when ha, how long has she been back um am, am i i was confused y'all she hasn't been on in two years and so if i understand correctly like i'm really bad at at, at um underlying messages if i understand correctly did she have a baby did she get pregnant and have a child is that why you know is that the reason for her departure from youtube i am glad she's she's back on youtube now i will say <clears throat> i think it's hard for people this is why when i take breaks i try to come back within a month or two because it gets it it's harder to come back when you've been gone for a while um and when you've been gone for years when you come back please don't expect people to be consistent with their uploads because they're not used to it so i know a couple of people who, people who have taken breaks and they say they're they're coming back they're back and they you literally don't see a video um from them in a while who did that border hammer did that let me see if she's back she's been back she was away for so long excuse me it's really hard to get into that habit of filming. Y'all, this is a lot. Um, you have to, in order to upload weekly, you have to be filming and editing constantly. When I tell you constantly, I mean, okay, so Border Hammer posted three months ago. Okay, so I guess she is kind of back. So she had a video a year ago and then she posted three months ago, life update, new house. But see, that was three months ago. You see what I mean? Um, for me to have multiple videos up, like basically at this point, I'm posting every three or two days. I have to be uploading and editing. And truth be told, if you look in between, my hair videos are not that not that common. This is this is why I do sprinkles of chit chat videos and vlogging in between because uh, if that's the case, you guys will really only see me post every week or every two weeks as far as hair related content go. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, it's it's hard to get back into the habit because you literally have to. Set, this is why I'm back here filming too. I'm typically, you know, when I do my hair videos, I'm typically in my living room where I have my camera light set up. I'm so sorry for the quality of my videos, y'all. I just, it's a lot. It's a lot. It really is. So anyway, enough of that. Um, who else have I been watching? Girl, this morning, I binge watched a couple of Sean's videos. Sean is the young lady with the locks. She does the strawberry letters. You, If you're not, if you are not subscribe to this young lady you really should <clears throat> her name is what is the name of her i think her um her youtube channel is life coach life coach sean let me look her up and make sure i give y'all the correct information life coach sean so i've already known about her video since but i was in the mood to look to listen to some some foolery and sure enough i was able to get my <laughs> my needs met basically girl so this is my thing about these women that writing these letters. Let me, let me back up. She provides a Christian base perspective on things, but she's very honest. And I really do like that she holds the writer, the person who is writing in with their issue, she holds them accountable. Because it's so funny, in the middle of her, in the middle of her reading the letters, she'll pause and say, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you and him. <laughs> And then she proceeds to finish the letter that the young woman or, or whoever writes to her. She has had she has had men to write her to. But the titles of these videos, y'all, I'm just going to read a couple of them to you. Just so you can see the type of letters she be getting. And sometimes, I'll get to my feelings in a second. Hold on. <sighs> Title. Strawberry letter. He got her pregnant and put her name on our house. He's my man but he has a whole family. 
Let's find another good one, girl. Oh, there was one I saw a while back. My husband slept with a man, but he says he's not, like he said he's not gay anymore, or something like that. I'm like, what? I'm like, this can't be real. Sometimes when she reads these letters, I'm like, this can't be real. Um, I caught them in bed cuddling. Hubby cheated on me with three different women. Who are these women? I know some of y'all know women like this, but baby, I'm so cutthroat. I tell you, if you, this was one of my friends, first of all, we can't be friends this long if you you doing some stuff like this, because I'm so cutthroat. I tell people how it is. You may not like my delivery, but you're going to hear the message, okay? This is one my bestie had... My bestie had hubby's baby. Now she wants to move in with her. So this is my thing. And I get common sense is not common. I get it. There are some narcissistic, downright, manipulating men out there. I understand that, okay? But at what point do you say, as the woman, as the person receiving the, the bad treatment, at what point do you say enough is enough? So I feel like oftentimes these women who write her already know the answer. Every now and then, I'll, you know, she, someone will say, I had a gut feeling. I had, you know, my instinct told me to go through his phone or my instinct told me to show up at his house. Should I forgive him? After the third time, by the way. So I feel like a lot of these writers already know what to do. God gave us an instinct. He's whispering to you. He's letting you know. There's no need to keep going to God and praying about it if you ain't going to listen to him. You, If you're not going to be obedient, okay? So my thing, is, my thing is, is that I feel like a lot of these writers are just looking for permission to leave the person. Because here is the issue. Do I have permission to leave? Yes, sis. Don't even bother writing. Go ahead. Um... Wow. So anyway, yo, I was looking at that. Well, there's nothing else, you guys. So let's just talk about some of the shows I've been watching. Girl, Rhonda, this is your fault. I started watching 1,000 Pound Sisters. And 1,000 Pound Sisters is very similar to... 1,000 Pound Sister is very, very similar to uh, my 600 Pound Life. So you have these extremely overweight two sisters i believe they're from are they from kentucky or tennessee girl they're from the country they're country as hell and yes they are rednecks you know they're rednecks and they love it too they own it um they are extremely large i believe one sister weighs 400 pounds and the other one is a little over 600 she's like 609 and some change you know fairly big women and <clears throat> they're in their 30s early 30s and so before bar and so before you get bariatric surgery, and I didn't even know this, you have to qualify for it. Well, I kind of knew about I didn't know that they they made you try to lose some weight. I didn't know this until I started watching my 600 pound life. So these sisters, look, these ends, y'all. I will be blowing out my hair next month and trimming these ends because they need to be trimmed. They really do. They look ratty. So anyway, these two sisters are funny as hell what i tell you they are so fun. they crack me the hell up there was one scene where <laughs> they're traveling to atlanta to see this doctor to get approved for weight loss surgery right and the husband of the one, I feel like the husband, I think it's Amy and Tammy, which by the way, they are YouTubers. They were YouTubers before they got on the show. Um, yeah, they have their own separate channels now, but they live together. There's Amy and Tammy. I'll find the names and put it in the, um, I'll find the links to the channels and put it in the description box, y'all. So there's one thing where they're driving to Atlanta, right? And the husband of one of them, I believe it's Amy's husband, he can't drive for nothing. So a car honks at him. And the one big one, girl, the one big one in the back is like, honk if you're horny. <laughs> so it was just random out of place. So um, one thing I do find is that I, I think with these two sisters, they're very humble, very down the earth, relatable people in my opinion. But I find that they laugh to keep from crying. I can see the pain sometimes in, the, in their eyes. And, you know, and one of them admitted to it. Instead of talking about their problems, um, they laugh about it. And they keep it moving, you know. So I think that causes a lot of, well, first of all, that's probably one of the reasons why they're, they're both really big is because they haven't been able to um, have that outlet. So to make themselves feel better, <laughs> or whatever they eat they turn to food so um they both were saying how they grew up in an unloving home and they even showed their mom at one scene the mom was just 
she's just <sighs> as someone who is a mother it always pains me when I hear and see of mothers who can't show love towards their child now oftentimes it's because they weren't shown love themselves but my thing is is that if you continue to be that way towards your child <clears throat> you're just repeating the cycle you know what i mean so they did say that their grandmother showed them a lot of love and their grandmother was more of a mom to them and when she passed away that really tore them up and so of course they turned to food um so yeah i'm only on the second episode all right so i added a couple of uh i got amazon prime now y'all so i added a couple of series to my amazon prime channel <clears throat> i haven't really started watching anything yet though um saints and sinners i have for a while so i, I need to start watching yeah my hair is already drying get in here moisture y'all hold on my neighbor just showed i have not seen my neighbor's kids in like like low key, I see these kids once every two years. And we've been on this block for 10 years. I wanna see this child. Anyway, y'all, let me let me stop being um, the nosy, the nosy neighbor. Um, I think I will watch the second season of Fargo. Yeah, I'm just, I need to get into it. Yeah, I just need to get into it. Um, Girl, you know who we're gonna talk about? Dark. Girl, I'm so thoughtish. Like, I, 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 y'all pray for me. You know, we, we should just open up our Bibles to the book of Corinthians or, or Romans. That's a good one. <laughs> Get this out the way. I'm watching the third season of Dark. Dark is a absolute awesome series. Now, I kind of mentioned this in one of my vlogs. You cannot get up. You cannot walk away. You really have to pay attention because it is basically a series about time travel. Not only that, but loops. Um, and there, oh, I don't want to give too much away, but there are literally three, three people to every character some of them more like my favorite character jonas y'all on season you see what i'm saying you see how i change on season three middle jonas has cleaned up oh yeah because on season two he was traveling dirty ass jonas but that one scene that there was a scene in, in uh, season two where he he had his shirt taken off and he had a hip cut. I know I've already talked about this before. I talked about this last year. Y'all, excuse me. So the actor who plays him is very fine. He's very good looking and he's older. He's like 52. I am so confused. I have never been this confused over a show that I'm on episode seven. I'm gonna have to stop it and watch it all over. Start all over. I know I'm almost done I can't I'm confused though because I'm like wait a minute why is this Martha doing that you see what I'm saying I have no idea what's going on so, oh y'all this child hey coming back here running back here telling me um my husband's about to get up and pop him okay what yeah good <laughs> oh lord have mercy y'all look real quick we'll get back to um what I'm watching which honestly that's it y'all I'm not really watching anything else that is it. I've been so busy with work and home life. I haven't had a chance to watch anything else. So, your favorite cousin Kanye West has decided to run for presidency. Y'all, you know that is a distraction, right? That's a way for them to pull votes from Biden. Um, because it's too late for him to even... I believe that he can't even... Um, what do you call it? He can't even run in six states. It's too late. So he has to run as an independent. And there are actually people I saw. I actually saw one or two people on Facebook saying, oh, I would vote for him. This is a man who rode a horse. He set his ass on top of a horse and fell off of it in the middle of church. That's who you would vote for? <sighs> we are a joke to the entire world. We are the laughing stock. I have a good friend who lives in Manchester and he's always like, you know, what the heck are y'all doing? Like, what is wrong? I'm, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me. Oh Lord. So anyway, yeah, that's what your, um, your, your cousin is doing. Um, I don't know what's going on with Jada and that child August. Uh, I don't even know his name. I guess his name is August. Did she have an affair with him? 
I guess she's going to discuss it in her next red table. I'm going to be here for that. I stopped watching that show or that, you know, whatever, but I will be watching that one. Oh yes. But look, it was my understanding that they had an open marriage. Didn't they? Don't they have an open marriage y'all? Wasn't that a rumor for years that Will and Jada Pickett have a open marriage? She should have had uh, that, that, that guy sign an NDA so that he won't go running his mouth. You know what I mean? Or get someone who's older and won't be in the streets running their mouth. Shell, hot mess. In my opinion, you know, do whatever you want. Th those type of yeah, relationships. Go yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, do whatever you want. But in my opinion, those type of relationships don't work, you guys. Um, it really don't. It, it doesn't, you know. There is a huge, you'll be surprised. <clears throat> there are a lot of porn stars that live here in Phoenix, specifically Scottsdale. Um, I believe Jana Jamerson, Jana Jamerson, Jana Jamerson or whatever her name, she lives here. Um, I don't know any other, you know, I don't know, but it's, it's, yeah, it's crazy. And so up here in Anthem actually which is very close to us it is a huge swinging community and the reason why I know this is because I used to work with one of them <laughs> on the outside she looks like she has a Pinterest account full of crock pot recipes <laughs> you know what I mean very sweet very very um, soft-spoken um, and I don't even know how we found it out. I really don't. Let me do this part, y'all. I have no idea, but a couple of us in the office found out, and she actually was talking to us about it. And one day she said, you know, there's not really too many black people in the swinging community. There's really not. I said, girl, no. Mm -mm. We, we, no, I said, I'm pretty sure there's some, but no, that's not something we're we, we gonna participate in. Well, I know you wish there would be, but no. So she had confided into me um this co-worker and we were around the same age actually she had confided to me that her husband her ex-husband ended up because she would because i would ask questions and she would explain to me like how it works so <clears throat> okay good so i asked her how it works and so she stated that if you are married or whoever but she was married that <clears throat> the other person basically gets permission and says, hey, this is who I, I'm going to be sleeping with. This is what's going to be happening. And I'm going to be gone for a couple of hours. I wish my husband would. Yeah, I, no. No. So, her husband approached her and said, hey, this is person I'm interested in. Then they met her. They all met. And she approved. You know, my coworker approved of this person. Well... She said they ended up having a side thing and the other, uh, what do you call them? Uh, the other twerking sessions were not approved. Her husband kept, he was like feeling this other woman. He ended up getting her pregnant. Ended up getting this other woman pregnant. They ended up getting a divorce, you know, from my coworker. They ended up getting a divorce. And then uh, he ended up marrying the person that he was cheating. But th this is the weird thing about it. Like my coworker was like, she's always really hurt about it, but I have since moved on and we're all big one happy family now. Now I don't know what that really means. I don't, I don't, and I, I didn't ask, but I could tell that she was still upset about it and and still had feelings over him but she said that she has no hard feelings towards the other woman and it just happened but i'm like see no no it wouldn't have happened if your ass would have agreed to that no so yeah y'all that's just weird. why the hell did i start talking about that girl y'all pray for me so that is it everyone thank you so much for watching take care bye